Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close so I can speak without alerting the others. Let me tell you about Senua. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing from the dead. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. They're watching. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. you of the others. You hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Well, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them? Look, up ahead. You see it too. You promised you can. Yes, it is real after all. She's finally arrived in the land of mist and fog. she thinking? I can tell you. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness, it just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, Always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. You might think she's brave to go on this journey on her own, but it isn't bravery that drives her. 
bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear runs far, far deeper. What is she looking at? What is she leaving behind? I know what she's thinking. I hear her thoughts. It's not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Senua pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. Use your eyes. Use your eyes. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hela's gate. But gods and the living will follow this one. Yearns for life, hungers for it, like a pack of wolves in a hunt. But she's not stopping. Not this time. Can you see it? The land of mist and fog. Was right. What was it he said? The river of knives across which lies the halls of hell. The place they call Hellheim. He's lost. There's no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. Bridge to Helheim. I forget its name. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. The old fool said there was a hidden path unto it. Let's see, shall we?
Northmen speak of nine worlds. The world of men they call Midgard. The sky gods dwell in Asgard. The gods of earth, harvest, wind, and sea dwell in Vanaheim. The good elves dwell in Alfheim. The evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim. The mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim. The fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Just drop down. Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. She can't go back now. <laughs> no, this is it. The hidden path. stories again, old friend. I'm listening. The runes seal the gates to hell. Focus your inner eye, and you too will see what's hidden in plain sight. You have to take a closer look to see. Why would she focus on? She needs to focus now. She needs to use her eyes. through the gate. Go through it. It's dangerous. Follow it. What's behind the gate? Where will it take you? It's not It worked. I spent six years in... in hell, but I watched the Northmen, learnt their ways. I know you did. You listen, when everyone else laughed, my people pay the heavy price. Carry my stories with you, and together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. Giantess, Hela, daughter. 
daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side, and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. the living from the dead. Is that the face of Hela herself? The half-rotten goddess that rules over Helheim. Whatever horrors lie behind that door, she must find him. vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head. 
the seed of the soul until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. He's not really. Listen to me, Senua. The goddess Hela lies behind the gate to Helheim. To open the gate, you must first face the gods that guard it. The god of fire. Surt, and the god of illusion, Van Raven, spill their blood to open the gate to Helheim and enter the land of the dead. <laughs> <laughs>